Vernus and Gentle Peeps. Hello. I'm Neil Woodman and this is... Theo Morris, hello. Yeah, we're here from Digital Taxidermy, taking some time out to show you what's new, what's good in the hood. Are you sick of boring terrain, always playing the same games on the same terrain? Are you, are you finding that at home you have no space, you're having to sit on old buildings? Click Lock City. That is what we've come up with. They are a series of loads and loads of loads of little panels that all click and lock together to create some amazing terrain. Yep, just like this, you have end panels, side panels, slide them together and then stick roofs on the top, you can pile them up, you get yourself a bustling dystopian metropolis. Yep, we didn't want terrain that was covered in supports and things like that because they can just waste plastic and be a pain and lead to print failures. So we've decided to make everything print flat this time. What is the advantage of printing flat, Neil? Well, as you said, you don't have to worry about crazy overhangs and stuff like that. So you don't need to use your supports, which is a prime reason for print failure and bad quality prints. By printing flat, you're on the build plate, you've got a nice stable base, plenty of good bed adhesion. And not only that, you can do interesting things with angles and details and protrudences that you otherwise wouldn't see on 3D printed buildings. Yep, and the other advantage of this as well, because of that click lock system, is no glue is required. No glue? No glue required. Oh my god, I just bought shares in super glue. Yep, and I was going to shoot my horse. Also, these panels, because they print flat, they are incredibly strong. In fact, here's a little video of one being stood on. Wow, wow, that <laughs> is robust. So this is a modular system. You can put it all together. You can create little buildings. You can create bigger buildings. You can create even bigger buildings. Use lots of little ones and go wide. So you can cover a massive area with very few buildings. Yeah, for a or nice wide skirmish game like Stargrave or something like that. Yeah, or if you want to play something like Necromunda or Judge Dredd, which are played on three or four foot uh, boards, you can go tall. You can keep going. Um, you put other buildings next to each other. You can create giant pyramids of uh, dystopian unhappiness. Yeah. And using bridges and stairs. And elevators. And elevators. We have, we have these lovely little elevators as well. So there's a huge amount you can do creating city blocks, all sorts of things like that. So, and they're all, we've tried to keep it in our digital taxidermy style. So if you've liked our stuff before, which has been in that sort of sci-fi dystopian theme, we've got stuff like the dopamine shop and... Bio enhancements. Yeah. Yeah, we've got a laundrette because, you know, everybody's got to keep those clean. We've created uh, a whole bunch of things to make them consistent with our other sets, such as like... Tidy Town, Bull Towers, Proxygenators, Fabricatum. Fast Terrain. Fast Terrain, yeah, yep. exactly. So not only can you go tool, you can click it together, you can print off loads fast. You know, all of these will go together and they'll be consistent throughout. Your imagination is the key. Yeah, build it the way you want to build it. So what do you get in the core set if the project's backed then this is what everybody is going to get, which is going to include over 100 files. In fact, I think at the last count is about 120, but we're still adding to it. So that's going to give you 10 little kiosks, which have the small, thinner end panel, but the same length wall. You then get two two by two buildings. Which are these, like these this size. One. Yeah. And you get two three bay buildings. Which are these big ones. And you also get th a three-story building as well. So that sounds good. And that's nice for a starter. But you know this is a Kickstarter. And what do you do with Kickstarters? Stretch, Stretch goals. goals! Okay, so we've racked up tons of stretch goals each one of these stretch goals is going to end up forming an expansion set from the core set so like any sort of modular construction system things like lego or connects and stuff like that you get a certain amount of stuff to start with and then you can keep adding to it and adding to it and adding to it so these 
expansion sets of what you're going to get in the stretch goals. So do you want to tell us a little bit about yes, the stretch so goals? so we start off with the stretch goals. Some of the things we have are the elevator is our first one elevator. to get you around. We you also go. have loads of little accessories scattered throughout the stretch goals. Things like the lampposts. And we've got the lampposts. So which, lampposts there. And all of these things still print flat and then click together. So they will disassemble. And they're also, even the lamp posts are modular, so you can take parts of them and clip, put them on the floor, or you could clip them onto buildings and things like that. Yep, yep. So we use the same system, transfer it across and apply it to lots of different things. So we have benches for sitting down after a hard day's rampaging. We've got barriers, barriers which and... can both go on the ground there. And also we have uh, clip-on clips as well. Then there are air conditioning units. So we've got clip-on units here um, that, because it gets uh, gets quite hot in dystopia land yep. and it's important to stay cool. We have satellite dishes that attach to the roofs of the buildings. We also have some aerials for television in case people are still watching broadcast TV. Then there is a stackable roof set as well. Yeah, so stackable roofs. We've got uh, these detailed feature roofs, right, which you'll get in uh, some of the specific building packs. However, um, you if you just want to be able to create a bit of a mishmash, you want to make things grow, you want roofs that have uh, guides on them so that you can stack one thing over the other. So we've got this style, which is in a mesh sort of grid, and then you have uh, these ones which have a grid pattern on them. Uh, so you've got a couple of different flavors in all of the different sizes that you need to be able to mix and match styles, create something a bit unique and a bit different. Yeah, and as we continue down that stretch goal list as well, we're gonna add different styles of buildings like the brick building that we have. So you get a whole range of uh, panels with different details and different features to fill in all the different spaces required to do lots of different combinations. So something we love as well is print in place doors. Oof, print in place doors. Who doesn't love a print they in place do. door? It's a simple way to create a little hidey hole, a sp new space on your board. Um, we have made um, up and over garage doors, roller shutters and a few other um, moving things. Those ones specifically aren't print in place, but they assemble to make moving doors that create a nice, fun, tactile experience. But then when we get to the end of the stretch goal list, we are looking for your ideas and your advice on what else you would like to see in this project. Not community stretch goals. Community stretch goals. Are you asking for feedback I'm from people? I'm asking for comments and feedback from you guys, our community. What would you do with this? How would you adapt it? What would you like to see? Maybe there's a kind of shop or a style of building, a little add-on, a kind of cubby hole that you would like to see. Then leave a comment and let us know. So do you want a shanty town? Would you like to see a more factory industrial industrial area would that fit in with the particular games even if you just want to tell us what games you're going to play with this then we would love to hear from you you should back this project right now because this is going to be your only chance to get this much loot and booty for this price yep. okay once this is finished, it's going to be going up onto the web store, www.digitaltaxidermy.co.uk, uh, where you'll be able to pick up the core set plus each of the expansions, which are going to be the stretch goals. So uh, if you want to get all of those expansions, plus the core set, plus all these things, plus our eternal gratitude, plus all of the loot and booty, then you need to back now. And uh, for those of you that come along and back early, there's even better prices. So get in there, check them out. And as the campaign goes on as well, if there's other things that we mentioned, like the fast terrain, the spool towers, the proxygenators fabricatum, we're going to be giving discounts on our website for those as well. So keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, subscribe to the YouTube because we'll be dropping uh, videos and information on there. Yeah, we will be dropping loads of painting tutorials. We've got some games planned, all sorts of stuff using this terrain during the campaign so if you want to find out more do have a look at our youtube channel yeah if there's any uh anything that you want us to take a closer look at or anything you're not quite clear on we're quite happy to produce a video talk about it and show you what's going on so once again drop a comment uh down below one of the things i really love about creating this stuff is seeing it out in the wild i love seeing what you guys end up doing with it when this gets delivered 
please do uh, go to our Facebook group, The Digital Taxidermists, and uh, drop a few photos of your table in. Show us your project. Yeah. Like, we're really interested to, to see. Like, we love it. So throughout this entire campaign, we're going to be doing a lot of promotional stuff. Obviously, we're going to have uh, the YouTube videos. We're going to have stuff going out on the social, and we're going to be shouting about it from all of the rooftop. But the best way uh, for us to be able to get this noticed, get this out there, get it spread, is if you guys give it a share. So yeah. if you like what's going on here, you want more loot and booty, we get more people involved... Give it a share. Yeah, tell everyone you know. If you've got a games night, a forum, something like that, mm. let them know because that really helps the campaign and then we can see how many of those stretch goals we can unlock and get to you. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your mum, tell everybody. Right, thanks for watching then. Bye! Bye.